Hello everyone. In the last session, we have seen uh, the definition of Internet of Things and some basics of networking. Today we are going to look at IoT characteristics and uh, some of the things in physical design of IoT. So these are the five IoT characteristics: dynamic and self-adapting, self-configuring interoperable communication protocols, unique identity and integration into information network. So the first characteristic is dynamic and self-adapting. So as an example, uh, I am considering surveillance system uh, where a set of cameras will be monitoring the environment. Okay. So in this, what is the dynamic part is, so whenever there are no objects in front of the camera, the camera will be sleeping, okay? It will be in a low power mode. But whenever an object comes before the camera, it will turn on itself and it will be monitoring the object, okay? So this is the dynamic behavior. And self-adapting means so based on the environmental conditions uh, the camera will be adjusting itself for example if it is night time uh, it has to go into let's say infrared mode okay and if it is in the morning it will turn off the infrared mode and it will come into normal mode and also it can adjust its uh, picture clarity based on the environment that is self-adapting okay and next characteristic is self-configuring so as an example I am considering weather monitoring system so this is a typical weather monitoring sensor uh, and it is operating using solar power so there will be several devices like this installed across the land area and these devices will be receiving updates uh, from time to time whether it is uh, related to the code it running on the device or related to the firmware update. So all these nodes uh, should download the updates automatically and install them and configure them accordingly. Okay, so that is the meaning of self-configuration. Uh, it reduces the human intervention with these devices. Okay. So next one is interoperable communication protocols. So in IoT, there are lots and lots of protocols uh, which are being used like Zigbee, Sixlope, and um, Z-Wave, Weightless, and so many other protocols are there. Um, if you take a traditional TCP IP um, stack protocols, all these things are there. So, uh, some of those protocols are proprietary protocols. That means only that organization which developed the protocol will use them. Others will not use it. Okay. Um, so, such protocols should be able to communicate with each other. Okay, that is uh, data represented in one protocol should be converted into data represented by another protocol like that. So that is the thing of interoperable communication protocols. And next one is unique identity. So within the definition of IoT, I told you that all the devices will be having unique identities so that it will be easy to manage them. Okay. So I have given here uh, three ways of uh, uniquely identifying devices. One is by using the IP address or by using uniform resource identifier URI or we can use RFID tags. Okay. And last characteristic is integration into information network. 
So as an example here, I am considering fire monitoring system in a forest. So we have uh, some trees here. Let's think of this as a forest. And these green circle kind of things are sensors. Okay. So the task of these sensors is to monitor uh, smoke or gas so which uh, represents that there is fire in the forest okay so all these sensors are collecting data and they are forwarding that data to something called sync node or you can say gateway okay so the task of this sync node is to aggregate the data from the sensors and send them through the uplink to satellite and from the satellite uh, the data is forwarded to the server or whatever application that is running in the cloud okay so that is the thing about integration into information network so all these sensors uh, which are sensing the data they are they have to be connected to a network if there is no network the data transfer will not take place okay so those are the five IoT characteristics. Now we are going to enter into another thing called physical design of IoT. So here we will be discussing about things and IoT protocols. So in this session we will talk about things and the next session we will be looking at protocols. Right. So things means the IoT devices. Uh, you can consider a full-fledged IoT device or you can consider sensors, okay, uh, actuators and all these things as things, right. And there are different types of IoT devices and here I am considering uh, different IoT devices based on the domains, okay. Like we can have home appliances category where we can find IoT devices like smart TV and smart refrigerator, smart AC and all these things. And then we have another category called smartphones and computers where we have laptops, mobile phones and all these things. And then I am considering another category called wearables, okay, where we have activity trackers and all these things uh, to monitor health vitals, uh, access internet and uh, other kind of things. Mm -hmm. And then another category is automobiles, uh, where nowadays we are getting self-driving cars. Okay, a self-driving car has uh, many number of sensors installed throughout the body. And another category of IoT devices is energy systems. Okay, like smart meters and all those things. And next category is retail. Okay, uh, so in retail we can find uh, or use mobile phone to navigate to the supermarket and find whatever things we need. Okay, you can see here uh, as an example. And then we can have printers which are connected to the cloud and we can access the printer from anywhere and industry 4.0 and digital machines which can be operated with the help of tabs or mobiles or any other device and then we have healthcare systems and then finally surveillance cameras okay so whatever uh, devices you consider if they are connected to the internet and they can be accessed remotely through the internet you can consider them as iot devices and ultimately they are the things in IoT. Right, some important points about things. Uh, so things in IoT refers to IoT devices which will have sensors, maybe actuators and controller and all these things have unique identities and things can perform sensing, they can sense the environment uh, for whatever purpose they are designed, uh, they can perform actuation 
and actuation uh, so let me clarify sensing is a kind of input okay and actuation is a kind of output so for example if you consider a smart bulb uh, maybe a smart bulb might have a uh, light sensor um, which will monitor the intensity of light so if the intensity of light is less it will turn on the bulb so that comes as a sensor okay so actuation means for example from the mobile phone I am using an application and in the application I am selecting to turn on the light bulb so if I press a button turn on the bulb so the circuit within the within the smart bulb uh, which responds to that is called an relay we will use a relay to perform that switch on and switch off so that is considered as actuation okay uh, it is a kind of output and IoT devices can also um, provide monitoring that is managing the device <coughs> and next uh, so the things can do all these things exchange data with other devices uh, sense or collect the data from other devices and process the data either locally or send it to centralized servers or cloud through internet okay and IOT devices uh, can have different interfaces like uh, interfaces for input output uh, interface for internet connectivity like uh, ethernet interface or wireless interface mm, those kind of things and these devices will have memory and storage interfaces uh, to store the data and finally they can have audio or video interfaces okay so this is the general block diagram of an IOT device so uh, generally all these IOT devices will have connectivity interfaces that is for communication and they will have some kind of processor a microcontroller or microprocessor uh, it will also have audio and video interfaces it will have IO interfaces for input output it will have storage interfaces for storing data it will have it might have graphics interface that is a GPU and it will also have memory interface okay it's uh, th these things are like RAM ROM okay and this is like secondary storage secondary storage okay so these are the basic things in an IOT device so that's it for this session uh, we will look at IOT protocols in the next session. Thank you.